wars in Israel and Ukraine more than the United States can take on at the same time. We're the United States of America, for God's sake. The most powerful nation in the history, not in the world, in the history of the world. The history of the world. We can take care of both of these and still maintain our overall international defense. We have the capacity to do this, and we have an obligation to. And if, if we don't, who does? Are the wars in Israel and Ukraine more than the United States can take on? It? I'm holding here. Look at it very carefully. This is a Palestinian woman in Gaza in one of the refugee camps in 2014, in one of the massacres. She is holding a shell produced here by NAMO, Nordic Ammunition. They have a subsidiary company named NAMO Tali in America. They send their weapon there and from there it goes to the Israeli military. Norway is part of the problem. We are here today to fix this problem. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Boycott Israel. Boycott Israel. Boycott Israel. Let's shout together so the whole world can hear us and especially the hypocrites that sits here in the Norwegian government. Stop the genocide! Stop the genocide! Israel provides no evidence that there are human shields. So far, the best they can do is share these photoshopped images. See, the building is red. That means Hamas is there. You know, for all of Israel's sophisticated surveillance technology with eyes over every single inch of Gaza, you'd think that they'd be able to produce more than cartoons and doctored graphics. In fact, the only proof they have provided so far are fake videos of Hamas rockets in residential areas. On May 15th, the IDF published a video of an Israeli training operation using a Hamas decoy, but claimed it was an actual Hamas missile launcher near civilians. In another lie, Netanyahu's spokesman tweeted a video claiming it was Hamas firing rockets next to an apartment building. Turns out this was a video from 2018 in Syria. So where's the actual evidence? If they cannot provide any, their claims must be investigated and brought to a trial. Even if there was evidence that Israel was hitting legitimate military targets, it still is illegal to kill such an outrageous amount of civilians. And you can't legally blow up a hospital, even if there are militants nearby. Either way, Israel should not be allowed to be above the law. Point. Think of that as you will. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Thank you, guys.
Oh, 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 oh.